something you'll notice when you start becoming the successful solopreneur that you're destined to be is people around you will start asking you what you actually do because from the outside it generally looks like you don't do very much because all you're doing is literally living your best life whatever that looks like to you it could be traveling around it could be shopping it could be experiencing luxury experiencing the diversity of the world whatever it means to you you will be experiencing more of it and you'll be working far less i mean if you can even call it work but what you're actually doing is something so important because all you're doing is helping the people that you're here to help you're literally doing what you were born to do by embracing your truest most authentic self you are able to magnetize the people that you are here to help and so your work is just being you you help them in the only way that you can and in the only way that you know how because you were born with those natural gifts whatever they are to you and to the 3d world it can be really confusing because we're led to believe that if you want to be successful you have to work really hard to achieve that success and that's what i believed for like my first eight years of being an entrepreneur but that's the hustle the grind the burnout culture right as a solopreneur you step into ease you step into flow you step into attraction you step into fun and you make more impact than ever so for me my official titles can be anything from spiritual success coach, motivational speaker, empowerment coach, business coach, mentor, you name it. Because the way that I help people is through my own experience. Everything I've lived through that I now help other women overcome and excel through. So they don't have to learn the hard way like I did. And I found the power of my voice. I always knew that talking was something I was passionate about, but I was led to believe it was something that was bad. It was not a good trait to have. You know those stories at school, you know, don't talk so much. I was that kid. But now talking is my passion. I love nothing more than sharing my message, sharing my voice, knowing that the people I'm here to help will hear it. And even if that's one person, every single time I know I am creating the ripple effect that I am here to create. So when people ask you what you do now, don't feel like you have to put on some front, that you have to kind of make up this whole story about how hard you work now. Speak your truth. What do you do? You help people. You help the world. You do one of the most important jobs that there is to do. So don't let anyone make you feel bad about it. Let me know in the comments, what do you do?